it's preview time and there's something uh something new i'm doing this year i haven't done this before i'm going to have a look at the figmas that are supposedly coming out in 2023 i say supposedly because good is not very good at this ha huh. good not good anyway the point is usually a lot of um a lot of companies have like the lists of what's coming out and whatnot good Smile doesn't do that they only go like Here's the Figmas that are already released, you already know about, so you can go over here, I'm on the main website. I go to release date and it's just like, oh here's like everything that released in December, what the fuck care about that? I want to know what's coming out in January, February, blah 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 blah, etc. We don't have that. The only thing I have is um, at the announced date. So we're just gonna go back and see what's been announced in 2022. Um, and most of it is coming out, I know for a fact for some of them I have the dates in my head, but... I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna tell you what I uh, what I look forward to, what I have on pre-order, 100% locked in, and uh, other things that I might. So let me go down the list, go all the way down the list, all of the things that have been announced last year in January. And uh, the main thing here is like this is already out. Well, the the thing about Karil, Karel, that one, I I didn't I didn't get this one, but. But, at the end of the year, I was just like, I didn't have that many pre-orders in December. So yeah, I, I slapped her in the cart, she's on the way. Whenever Army Army decides to send my package, they suck. Anyway, like, Army Army last year sucked. I'm serious at the point where I kind of want to... Uh, if, if you have... Where, where do you guys buy your figures? If you have any recommendation, uh, I've seen like CD Japan in the Figma group on Facebook, I've seen that, but... Uh, Ami Ami has just been so slow at shipping stuff out and it's pissing me off because I'm trying to have a YouTube channel where I'm getting a lot more views when I get stuff early. And it's pissing me off. But yeah, I got the cat from, uh, what was it then? Princess Connect Redive. I have zero, zero knowledge of that. Um, it's a gacha game, right? But yeah. Design, cute, magician cat girl. Mm, the gold and the purple, well, it's kind of like a dark blue purplish and... Uh, just a cat girl face. It, it's it harmonizes so well. Also with the long, dark, crazy hair. Yeah, uh, love it. And uh, then we got the Nero Bright. Obviously, I got this one. It's Nero. I mean, look at it. I've got the original version. This one is updated. Looks way better with the face garb and whatnot. And like the kind of burnt, like coat. Not really coat, but like the ah, uh, you know, the burnt stuff around the the dress. The burnt dress. Just dress. I don't know. And all the kind of zippers on there, it, it looks amazing. Happy, happy for this one. And also like the, the white version of her sword. Ah, it even has like a bouquet. I didn't remember. I don't, I actually didn't look at, look at the butt window. The butt window. Mwah. Mwah. Actually, let me, let me zoom in on that one. That's a very important, oh God. It's a very important detail. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I, I did not look up any screenshots before this. I just like, shh, I'm, if I'm gonna buy this, of course I'm gonna buy this. Of course I'm gonna buy this. And then there was also Homelander, which I don't care for. Sorry. Apparently The Boys is a very good show. I, uh, <coughs> should probably watch it. Does he have, like, a blood face or, like, a burn face? It looks kind of weird. Uh, I, I got Berserker Miyamoto, obviously. We, that's the fate stuff. That's, like, my job. If I don't review this, I'm not doing my job. For the fate figures, it's... For me and the fate figures, it's kind of like, of course, like the, and also I always got it from Ami Ami, so no, I will not have the, uh, the Udon Holy Grail, even though that looks fantastic, and funny. <coughs> also, I got sick again for whatever reason. This is like the third time I got sick in this winter. It's, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, guys. I certainly can't tell you what's going on. Actually, you know what? Can I move this? Oh crap! Uh, camera. So okay, since we have the big empty space over there. Over there, there. I decided to move the camera. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got this one for sure. Uh, I, I love the design. Why is she American? Is there is there like a theme to that? Is there like an explanation to that? Again, I love the Fate characters. Uh, I love the designs, but I only know like mainly Fate Stay Night. I've watched. I mean, I read the manga. I watched the Heaven's Feel, and I watched the Unlimited Blade Works, which Unlimited Blade Works is the best one. For me, personally. I like that one the best because it was still kind of like classic fate. But that's beside the point. She has like blades, blades, uh, guns, gun blades. 
Uh, shoutouts to Fine Fancy. What was it? Eight? Everybody hated that one. I mean, the gun blades, that is. No offense to Fine Fancy 8 fans. This one looks cute, but I didn't really get that one. Uh, when is this coming out? When is this coming out? Uh, 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 last year, in November. Okay. So I missed that one. But that, wasn't, that one was like an S, no, an EX. So that one was, uh, I think those aren't even on Army Army, so I kind of missed that one. I got this one. Just because I love the design. Once again, uh, it's from Data Life. Don't know anything about that because, uh, I don't know, I, I just don't watch as much anime anymore. I, I recently started uh, reading uh, a new manga, which is like Sinnoh Alice, which that, that'd be cool. Can I get some figures from that? But uh, yeah, the design of this one is just fantastic. She has the big sword. I love the big bushy hair. Well, not bushy, but like all the strains going down. It's, it, look, it looks kind of crazy. I'm wondering about all the... Uh, do we have like multiple joints in there. She has an energy effect, which is very very rare for Figma and overall the design just looks very clean uh, uh, this is like the gold gold and royal pur royal gold and purple and I, I guess I'm just a sucker for like shiny stuff like gold gold and anything really gold and purple and um, overall very cool looking very cute looking fairly basic in like accessories but still uh, also she comes with a big base is that like a thing that they're doing now I don't like the big Figma base uh, luckily, I still have a lot of smaller bases that I'm not really using, so I can use it for this one, but the big base just takes up too much space. Bars. I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna look at it and be like, uh, I, le I legit, yeah, no, I, I'm not, I'm not into that kind of stuff, sorry. This kind of robot girl thingy, uh, you can take off the robot parts, I guess, but, I don't know, uh, I, I, I ain't my thing. I, I like robots, and I like girls, but like, if you combine them, well, I do have like a Gundam girl, which is funny, but um, yeah, this one's just not my style, so that's a no for me. Uh, we don't have, I don't have anything on here, although I'm kind of like, when's this one coming out? I'm kind of interested in that one. Uh, listen, because, gotta be straight with you guys, because of all the things that are going on, uh, I try to go down on pre-orders and kind of looking into what I might get down line. So this one's coming out next month. Uh, in February, my uh, the camera is blocking it, but trust me, um, I might get this one because also I like the design. I never played Shin Megami Tensei. I only played uh, this, the, it is Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, I know the name. I know I've seen the character and whatnot. <clears throat> kind of like an iconic video game character, at least to me. Also comes with a lot of cool energy effects. So uh, <coughs> might might still pick this one up next month um, if it's still available, but. That's a maybe for me. Uh, I have zero interest in the. Uh, this is like from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't watch the show, and I think the designs look fairly bland. And again, I don't want to piss off any Jujutsu no Kaisen fans, but uh, you know, from somebody who doesn't watch the show, who doesn't have any interest in the characters, uh, they all look fairly bland and boring. So I'm not gonna get it. Maybe I regret it when I uh, somewhere down the line maybe start watching it. And uh, also we have this thing. This sucks. This really sucks. I don't know why they're doing this. I really don't know why they're doing this. I mean, it's like, oh, it's special, it's different. Why are you hating pain? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, look at this. It's a brick. They didn't do anything great for articulation. This is just on swivels, the arms and whatnot. It's probably just swivels. It's just a swivel, man. But then, oh, no. Actually, there's like some more movement in the legs, I guess. Okay. But yeah. Um, why? Why? No, no, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And the only thing I can remember that... that this thing reminds me of is like the uh, the monster that Dart summons in Yu-Gi-Oh! when the seal of Arakalkos. Seal of Arakalkos! Uh, we have horses. I'm not getting any horses. I don't care. Noel. So if you've been on this channel for a little bit, you know that I haul alive. I love it. I love haul alive. I love haul alive. And I'm. I, 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 I got this on pre order just like day one. Just like I was there and I was just like, I want it. Uh, again, don't have the uh, beef bowl, unfortunately, but Noel is a um, very funny character. I, I always felt like she was a lot more like chill, but she can go crazy sometimes, and I, I, I think it's good. I think it's funny. She has big boba and kind of like a cool knight armor, uh, again, with the... Uh, even if you're not into whole life, you gotta admit that their designs just slap! Slap! It's so good! Mm. This is like, you couldn't easily put this in like any kind of Fire Emblem collection or whatever. Uh, you know I'm right. You know I'm right. Uh, we got the Iron Maiden. Um, the only 
The only way that the Iron Maiden makes sense for me is if they release the Iron Maiden character for Shaman King. Then I would buy this. Absolutely. I don't know if the character was called Iron Maiden, but there was like like a little like a little spirit girl. I remember her. I remember her. She came out of the, the sarcophagus. This is like another gacha type character. Um when, when did it come out? I think this no, it's coming out in February also. Probably not. I don't I don't really see it as much. And also I have no idea who this is. And you know, again, the design doesn't really speak to me. It's from Mushku Sensei, Jobless Reincarnation. <coughs> yeah, no. Probably not. Uh, not really looking forward to it. I kind of missed out on the joints. I'm kind of pissed off that I missed out on the joints. I, I just like... I could have used some of these joints, but those are sold out, so I missed out on that. Uh, I got the... Uh, this one, for sure. Obviously. Duh. Big, big boba. There, there's the pattern again. Big titties. Gold. And like a giant ass weapon, I guess. I don't know. That's that's a bonus. You don't you don't have to have the giant ass weapon. The big titties and, and gold. That's like, yeah. Royal gold. This is like a big titty saber. Also has like a cloth cape. Interesting to see how that will work out. It seems like you can pose it. Which is very important, I feel like, for uh, cloth capes. Especially I like big ones. If it's just like a small one that just hangs in the back and just like fine. But if you really want to get into those heroic poses and stuff. I think you need the wire in there so you can move it around. And uh, yeah, got this one for sure, but without the horse. This racing Miku, I haven't gotten a Miku in a long time, but this one's just kind of weird. <coughs> it's kind of fairly simple. And uh, do they have anything to do with uh, Kojima Productions? Because this kind of reminds me of Ludens, which has like the big kind of top space suit. And uh, also like the space helmet, the space visor, and whatnot. And also you get like a trophy. I'm kind of debating on if I'm... Maybe this this is like a maybe for me. I'm kind of like, eh. I looked at the figure and I was like, it kinda, it's kind of bland. But I, I really like the mask and whatnot. And the accessory and the black base. Which is just a tiny detail, but it's a black base. Ooh, it's different. Ah, it has a different color. So obviously I'm an idiot, so I want it. Announced in June, I have none of these. I have none of these on my list, although, going back to it, I might pick up Mika, because the dress looks good. Although, we've had some trouble. Like, the whole claw thing, I'm not sold on it yet. Because, like, especially if this is, like, too big again, and it's not tight enough, but, uh, yeah. But, generally speaking, it is an interesting body. Well, it is a simple body, and, um... I like the head sculpt. I like the head sculpt with the earrings, gold earrings and whatnot, and she looks pretty cool. It's a very fun, interesting looking design for the figure, but really what makes it obviously is the cloth part. It's a, it's a nice dress, but I don't know, I just think it doesn't look that great, honestly. I would have preferred, of course, the idea of the Figma, uh, Figma Stars is to make cloth, but I would have preferred this to be uh, just a figure, just make the entire dress, the Chinese dress. In plastic and it would have probably looked better but it is what it is uh here's like the naked body uh, don't demonetize me this this is the only one i kind of have any remote interest i don't know who this is even uh this is not a jujutsu kaisen figure what, what about this one Who's, nah, nah probably not pretty derby don't care what does she have going oh, that's a cool effect though but um the only thing i can say is that she's cute but if I would buy anything that's cute, I... Yeah. <coughs> Same with this one. I, um... I don't know. I don't know. Do I have to build the gun myself? Is that another one where I have to build the gun myself? The girl's front line. Do you have to build the gun yourself with the girl's front line? I don't remember. Because if I do, then that's a definitely, no, definitely a no for me. Because I'm not, like, building my stuff, but... Yeah, not really much I'm really looking forward to here. Female body Chiaki, let me look at this one again. Again, this one is fairly simple. Um, not really into the, the cloth outfit. This is very cool for swapping parts though. If, you, if you're into that, that's fine. I'm not really into that, so I'm gonna skip it. Uh, we got another Grip Man, which is called Primal Fighter. I honestly have trouble seeing what's different from the previous Grip Man release. Is this a repaint? 
Is that like small details on it? I mean, he has like different accessories, like the the flame that came out of his gauntlet right there. Had I I don't know. I I have the one Gritman which they released. I wish they would release the uh, the original Gritman design, uh, not the uh, what is this like 4S quadruple S Gritman. Yeah, I wish they would release the regular one, like the true form of Gritman. They even had like a a part in the show. Where it kind of breaks through the clouds and like this is this is a true form of grit man that's like the one like i remember even as a child you know i didn't know what it was but i remember seeing figures of it uh black rock shooter no um this one uh as you might have noticed i have not picked up any more demon slayer figures the reason for that is i wanted just to get the main characters i got like the guy with the the pig hat i forgot his name but that figure was already uh, a bit of a disappointment with the weird kind of app crunch in the, in the, uh, well, in the apps. Duh. But this one, I think, came out already. Let me check again. Where, where is the date? Where is the date? This one came out. Oh, no. This one is coming out. So this one is still, this one is one of the, uh, the ones that are still somewhat on my list. Depending on the month, this is for June release in June if it releases and if I'm like have the money by financial financially stable I might still pick this up but that's about it and just like a might don't care about the more I had don't care about the wing don't care about the Venus I'm just gonna look at it though because it's funny oh wait it has the detail don't don't demonetize me <laughs> I actually don't really care if I get demonetized but I don't have to needlessly play around with getting in trouble with this website. Um, it's Cliff from Death Stranding, The Walking Simulator. Don't care, haven't played the game, do not plan on playing the game. And let's talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart. Ahoy! The horny pirate gets her Figma and I am ecstatic. I got the uh, the Nanoroid recently. That review is uh, when when this when I'm making this video, I'm, this review might have been up already or not. I don't know, but yeah, I'm getting Marine for sure. We got again. We're going back to the gold. She even has like a gold skull. Put gold on a figure, and I buy it. Is that like the theme? Also, she has stockings and nylon and all the things I like. <coughs> and she's funny, and she's horny, and love the character, love her voice, love her streams, and. Not much more I can add to it. She even had even have like the dance pose from the dance up. Idle step! Idle step! Yes! 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 This will... Yeah. If this figure is good in QC, this might be like a top 10 contender already. This guy looks cool, but it's hell of, hell of expensive. And I don't know if I want to invest like 16,000 yen. Ugh. Ugh. There's no way in hell I can, I can justify that. There's just no way in hell I can justify buying that thing. That, however, I I said it in the top ten. I predict this one also to, to to be high in the list of next year. Again, if the QC is working out, I love this design from day one when I saw the Neko figures, the Neko designs, the false on the lineup. This one was the one that stuck out to me, and I was like, I want. The cute Anubis, Hemet Nephil, or whatever the name is, I don't care. And there's not even any gold on the figure. Well, kinda, kinda, but a lot darker, a lot more, a lot more muted. But it still has gold. Damn it. Okay, confirmed. Illuminati confirmed. We have pain, vice, everything that has gold on it. I guess that's just the rules. But yeah, I freaking love this figure. It looks so cool. I love the design of the false on the lineup, and this one is the one that stuck out the most to me from day one. So that's a that's a must buy. Uh, other than that, I don't know who this is. This is like another Devil Summoner, kind of like a. It has the whole kind of Shin Megami Tensei and uh, Persona vibe, which, from what I understand, they kind of share something, something. Somebody once told me in the comments that it was based on this and based on that. Blah, 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 blah. But, uh, you know, you can enlighten me again. Write it down in the comments. What does Shin Megami Tensei and Persona have in common? Other than the designs, there's more to it. Uh, we got more Figma stars also. 
you get the corset and the coat if you just want those which i will not buy i probably gonna buy probably once again i don't have this on pre-order but i'm kind of interested in the uh gothic gothic kind of corset looking however once again this one looks kind of shit why why is this so long why is this so long huh explain that to me why why is this like hanging out like a sore thumb i don't know i like the boots i like the skirt it looks good enough but like the top on also it looks kind of leathery so that's cool but just this just a string kind of hanging out i guess i can cut it which i probably would so this is on the list this is on the list of maybes very high chance but not 100 percent yet have don't have it on pre-order and uh you also get one with the coat i gotta be honest i don't the code looks kind of cool, but I don't really care about it that much. Mm, yeah. We got a tank. No. Absolutely not. Um, this is a, an obvious one. Is there any gold on it? There is gold on the sword. Damn it. I guess that counts. Uh, no. Anyway, this is... <coughs> Do you think I'm Berserker? Mysterious. Heron. Altar. X. Mysterious. X. Altar. Blah, 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 blah. I love this design. This kind of... Vigilante, Vigilante, Dark Heroine, which is the name of it. It's a, it's a kind of darker version of Saber, obviously, once you take the hood off. It's kind of Al Al Altria or Altoria or whatever you want to call her. I know some people get like mad about it when I, oh, you say Altria, it's a uh, Altoria. I don't care. King Arthur, right? Which is like the main hero that it's based on. And uh, he comes with a dark, she comes with a dark vibe. And I like that. I think that's cool. Even has like dual lightsabers, like Darth Maul. And also like red lightning, like Darth Maul. Hmm. Damn. Then we have this one. That's a no for me again. I, I, who's that? Pretty Derby again. Yeah, we, we talked about this one beforehand and I don't care. This one I have bought every single Samus Aran Figma figure that there is. And this one will be no exception. I want this. I need this, and I have it on pre-order, if I remember correctly. If I didn't F this up. I like this design. It's a little bit more lean, a little bit more sleek armor. The white and the blue is a nice change from all the other ones. And that's about it. Got a morph ball with it, and the big gun. I did pre-order this one as well. Is there any gold on it? There's gold on the handles. Damn it. Another Data Life figure. Going back to the fact that I had never watched Data Life, but... My god, this figure, I, I must have seen this character in like millions of memes and gifs and whatnot. She has like the clock in her eye. It's a very cool design. Has like the whole gothic Lolita going on, which is, which I'm a big fan of. And there's just a lot going on. I love the dress. Love the guns she comes with. It. Again, going back to the face sculpt with the clock in her eye is a, is a cool idea. And even has like energy effects on it. And like this, the maniacal face sculpt. And then the face is also amazing. Like, you have this happy face, you have this maniacal face, and you have, like, a big effect part, which I don't really care for. It takes up too much space, but it is there. For fans of the show, they probably go, like, nerd out about it. And then this one. I am getting this one, but I forgot to pre-order it. I, I, re I went to my pre-orders the other day, and I was like, how did I miss this one? Ah! So, I didn't get in on Ami Ami. I'm gonna look into... I, I did pre-order it on Big Bad Toy Store. Which is always, like, my fallback... Um, part. This one doesn't. Oh, this one has gold on the gun. I'm just checking for gold at this point. But I've gotten every, just like with previous ones, I've gotten every single Persona 5 figure, and this one shall be no exception. I love her dark design, really fits with the Phantom Thieves. Obviously, the red gloves. It's kind of like a little bit of a female joker, like the red gloves, the uh, all kind of dark, the uh, dark outfit and and the coat with it. I love it. I got the Figma Chainsaw Man. Although I'm not sure yet if I only get the Figma Chainsaw Man or if I only get like the SH Figures Chainsaw Man. I'm kind of very interested in who's gonna do deliver a better job. But I got this one for sure. Uh, the main difference, if you want to ask, if the Figma Chainsaw Man has like the uh, he has his has his regular face, and you can display him just without all the chainsaw stuff, if you want that. And the SH Figures one has blood on his uh, blades. 
but cannot turn into like regular human you human human denji that's the name human form sh figure arts cannot turn into human form so you don't have that there's the re-release of Raf talia and uh, naofumi i don't know i don't know once again I, a lot of people like Raf talia and she has gold on it but i i think the design is all right haven't seen the show once again so i'm not connected to anything there and i haven't pre-ordered any of them yet then we got the fluted armor i am not sure if i pre-ordered this because the price is 15,000 yen. it looks amazing though and it's definitely something on my radar but i'm not sure anymore if i pre-ordered it or not but the detail on it is just making me insane like this this armor this armor part yeah look at this look at this look at all the detail on the armor the shield Seems like it even has some shading on it, which is fairly rare for Figmas, but they did do it. Oh, I can just click on this. Wow, I'm stupid. This is just an amazing piece by its own. This will stand out in any collection if, if it looks as good as, as it does on the pictures. I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not one to hype things up, and I don't want to do that. But if they deliver on it as it looks in the pictures, then this will be easily one of the best releases of the year easy and then finally we got the last three i'm just gonna go over these real quickly got this one i don't know what it's from it's from the illustration series of hito kaiki another one that's just based on illustrations which is kind of weird but first and foremost the white and a little bit of well this is more like bronze it's not gold or is it does it count as gold they actually added the right joints also for this like look at look at these big joints in the shoulder look at this in the album that is look at this would have been nice for doom slayer oh <coughs> but yeah has a bunch of cool weapons design on them a big fan have like the robot lags this is like the the, the, the porcelain robot lags everything's kind of mad and then you have the lags which are hell of a shiny and then you can also take it off take the uh, dress off and reveal more of a robot body if you want to go like combat mode if you want to, whatever you want to call it i think it's another great piece with um an awesome design and it looks very interesting does she have like double hinged knees also but again the knees look clean that's the main part the knees look clean you even have like the, some small golden joints in the uh in the feet and once again if they follow through with everything that they're showing on here this will be a very strong release. Then we got power. I know, uh, once again, when I talk about the Chainsaw Man stuff, lots of people were like super excited. Power for me, I haven't gotten into Chainsaw Man. I might pick up the manga. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I, do, I do not want to get into watching anime as much because like it takes up too much time and I just... VTubers is anime and I just watch VTubers now. But anyway... Design-wise, this one is boring for me. If I get into Chainsaw Man before this one comes out, and if I really like the character, because a lot of people seem to like the character, I will pick this up. But only if. If I get it, if I get into Chainsaw Man before this comes out. And then finally, this is like the third Princess Connect Redive figure, which is also hell of expensive. Once again, it's like 10,000 yen. But goddamn, this design is so cute. Haven't picked it up yet, but I did the same for the cat character before. You know, when we go back to this one. I hadn't picked up Karil, Carol, Karil, Karil, whatever she's called. I hadn't picked that one up, but when it came down to it, when it came out, I was just like, I want this, and this might be the same thing. It has gold on it, again, hallelujah, trifactor, or quadruple, or whatever, how many times I've talked about gold in this video. But it, it, it's just a pattern, and I realized that every time a character has like gold on it, I'm like, ooh, shiny, I want it, cool. Um, Yeah. I might get this one. I don't have it on pre-order. Really, again, depends when it comes out. It's only for like pfft, October. So I still got plenty of time for it. But she looks cute. Love the design. Has the gold. Kind of like a cute little magician thing going on. Has like the big base again, which I don't like, but I don't have to use it. And this see-through apple thing. It's cool. Again, in terms of articulation and whatnot, this is like a fairly basic thing once again. But it's a cute kind of lolly type elf character. Of cool accessories and gold, <laughs> and there you go. That was my Figma preview 
for the year of 2023. All the things so far that have been announced in last year. And um, we'll see what else they're going to reveal. We'll see what else we got. I am very looking forward and hoping that we get more Portal Life Thingmas. And uh, other than that, I would wish... There hasn't been a peep about it, but it would be very cool if they would continue something like Goblin Slayer. That'd be great. I don't know. They only did the Goblin Slayer himself and nothing else. Also, Pantheon Stalking. Pantheon Stalking is coming back for Season 2. Make some Thingmas out of them. You already got the pop-up raids. Make some Thingmas, you cowards. Good smile. I'm looking right at you. Make Thingmas of Panty and Stalking. I need it. I want it. That's like one of my top 10 of all time like anime and I would die. Or maybe not die, but I would give a lot to have figments of that. But oh my god, yeah, that that would that's the prediction. That's like the number one prediction, not pretty prediction, but number one wish list panty and stalking thing must do it anyway. Thank you for watching this uh random rambling video of me talking about figmas. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what are your favorite figmas for the year of 2023. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, and yeah, there we go. That's gonna do it guys, as usual, thank you very much for watching, don't forget if you enjoy this random video, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for my figure reviews, card game stuff, and whenever Figma wants, I don't know, this is random intro or outro again, bye.